All right, y'all, man. This show Star Action News Report of your hood reaction guru, LC the one, LC the one to be exact. We actually did back with another reaction. Uh, I know y'all see the headline, but before I get to that, man, let me get a disclaimer in real quick, man, um, about what's going on in Chicago, man, with these young people, man. Um, I don't know what the hell wrong with these people, man. I'm just keeping it 100 right now. Uh, seems like when they come to work or just start working yeah like they don't have no damn sense man they be acting like they wild like they at the crib or something okay uh you know i'm at the art institute doing security and it's like this the worst i have ever seen it man it's like you know they really starting to rub us veterans the wrong way and i'm pretty sure that's filtering over everywhere else you know or any other job in chicago all these young people, man, their they expectations, I don't know what it is, but when you start working for people, man, that's what it is. You're working for somebody else, so get your attitude to, together. Because I'll fuck around and pop off on somebody. I'm like Bernie Mac. I'll get a hammer and I'll slap the shit out of one of these young kids. On oh, Jesus. But anyway, let's get to it, man. Listen. Derek Rose... Once again, another young fella, you know, uh, came to the Art Institute, took pictures with some of the little homies down there I played ball with. You know, y'all know I'm real fond on D-Rose. Now, I was real questionable when Derrick Rose went to New York, okay? I was real, real questionable. I mean, Cleveland was, I think, was a good good situation for him okay but he got hurt then he went to Minnesota I think that was even a, a better situation for D Rose but then he go join the Knicks now that was real suspicious to me and suspect because let me tell y'all something man all right y'all know I've been doing music I've been published for about seven eight nine years or whatever well I got my publishing from New York, from BMI. They don't like to pay royalties, okay? They don't like to pay out no damn royalties, man. They still owe me money, New York. That's where I got my publishing from. So, when I seen that Derrick Rose was signing to New York, I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I know his ass is in trouble. Because they don't play, they don't pay nobody, man. Only person they pay was Carmelo Anthony. And they pay him because he's a New Yorker. That's the only reason why they pay Carmelo Anthony, because he's from New York. So Derrick Rose is like an alien. You know, and Jigga was like, don't let outsiders violate our blocks. They come and violate our blocks, though. Cameron, all on the west side with my cousin Shake Bag and them, the whole drama ward. You understand me? We be helping them out, but they don't help us out. The D Rose went out there and helped them get to where they at now. And then they put him on the bench like he was a scrub. I sat there and looked at the barber, the barbershop talk. I forgot the name of the of the YouTube channel. But I was listening to the brothers when you know D Rose was on the on the show and D Rose was putting some thought on brain. He was dropping some real jewels on them niggas, man. He was keeping it a buck with them. But he was really studying, he's studying New York. He was talking about it was New Amsterdam and all this and that and they was asking him some some goofy questions about what he was wearing and stuff and what it symbolized and he had to break it down to him and he said he had an awakening when he got hurt in Chicago when he got hurt in Chicago he said he woke up because he knew for a fact that he won't get paid no more money after the Bulls paid him the city where he from paid him I would never left ever the last person they paid like that was Michael Jordan, the highest paid player ever, ever, ever. 
Nobody made more money than Mike. Ever. In three years? D Roller should have stayed right here, man. I kept saying it. I was like, man, D Rose, man, you better come back to the crib. Now, this is the situation. He in the grandfather clause now. He can walk on with the Bulls. They already talked about this. Uh, what's that? Bulls Central? Shout out to Bulls Central. I'm, I'm subscribed to their channel. And I listened to the young brothers. They was chopping it up. And they was talking about his options. Okay? Now, if I was D. Rose. Derek. If I was you. Listen to me. Bring your ass to the crib, man. Just that simple. Bring your ass to the crib. Play a season or two. Don't worry about the money. You said you ain't worried about the bread. Don't worry about the money. Get your shit back. Get your stock back. Alright, so you'll have an option. To go where you want to go. Prove to them that you are still an elite player, man. Don't retire. Bring your ass back to the crib. Come hoop with us. Get your shit back. And the rest is history. If you go anywhere else, they're going to sit your ass on the bench. Then you're going to end up overseas or something like that. That's a no-no procedure, boy. Come back to the crib. Come hoop with us. Get your shit back. And that's it. It's just as simple. Now, we're going to see how this unfolds. Free agency start June 30th. It's, uh, it's approaching. I wouldn't, it wouldn't even be a question. I'd get my agent on the phone quickly. Tell him i walk on. Do what you got to do. Get this, get this situation right here in Chicago straight. Like how you did out there with them. Because everybody knew it was you. Everybody knew it was you. They got them like that. Before Brunson came and took his spot. It was you, man. So bring your ass back to the crib. If you see this video. Come back to the crib, man. You can come post up and we can do a barbershop talk right there with my homie Andre. Andre Love right there on 35th. My homie owned the barbershop. He went to Phillips. He owned the barbershop. I can hit him up right now. Come back to the Art Institute. Come take a picture with me this time. Not with them. With me. A OG that played with Kevin Garnett. Played against Kevin Garnett and Ronnie Fields. Come back. Hook up with the real people. And you'll be all right, man. All right. I'm back. I'm three and one on YouTube. Only lost one match. I gave my little brother a technically win over there at Washington Park. Sure he got skills. Alright. But everybody know what it is, man. It's still the Jordan era. I'm the Kobe Bryant era. Don't get it fucked up. I want to play against Kyrie Irving, though. Shout out to Kyrie Irving. But... If I do go play out there again, I ain't have no mercy. It won't be no mercy at all. Okay? But I'm just being careful. Because I'm in Washington Park. They stole my car. So, they wouldn't have stole my car. I would have I would have really trained Shorty that day. So, anyway. I'm going to get up off this caboose, man. Hey, this should start Action News for your Hood Reaction Guru. You don't see the one else who want to be a Zach Reyes. I'm going to keep y'all abreast with everything that's going on with this free agent. It's about to be hot, man. They're about to shuffle the deck. It's about to be crazy. But once again, man, Derrick Rose, don't go play with LeBron. You already did that. Don't go play with Jimmy again. You already did that. Bring your ass back to the crib. Play with DeMar. Zach. And your new Bulls teammates. And you're going to be straight. Trust me on that. Y'all get to the Eastern Conference. 
it out, no problem. We ain't got nobody over here that can stop the Bulls if you come back here. That's it, I'm out of here. Dipset Burger.